what an incredible debate. Let me just get into the winning arguments. Now, I don't think it, uh, there's any dispute here. I think on both sides, Mohammed Hijab won the debate. Uh, let's just go ahead and play his winning argument, which destroyed David Wood. These are the questions I want the answers to today. Question one. Why is it that in the Old Testament, you do not find the Trinity mentioned or inferred? And if it was inferred, why haven't the rabbis, the Jewish scholars, for 4,000 years of Hebrew history inferred it? That's question one. Question two. How is it the case that if the Trinity is explicit in the New Testament, that for 300 years of church history, Nicene Trinitarianism was not inferred by the church fathers? Question three. Where, give me one person of the first 300 years that says that the Holy Spirit was co-eternal, co-equal, independent with God. One name. I will apologize in front of everyone today. Yes, I will apologize. Question four. These are the three arguments which destroyed David Wood in the debate. So it's not like uh, David Wood didn't have some responses. He did have some responses, but he didn't deny the facts which Muhammad Hijab was presenting. He just tried to explain away and said, well, here's the case for why that could happen. And they were pathetic. He says that, you know, the reason, well, the argument was, well, for 4,000 years, Jewish rabbis never understood or, or, or saw the Old Testament as a document of Trinity that it teaches as Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all being co-equal gods. And he did not deny that, but he says, well, God just progressively slowly reveals himself. So the, the, the reason why he lost is the convincibility factor here. You have to be gullible to believe in something like that. It's not like what he's saying can't work. It's that convincibility factor, which you know you cannot convince a jury with these type of uh, explanations. He said that he doesn't deny the fact that for 300 years, the early church fathers, the early church, nobody def basically defined Trinity the way they believe it, co-equal, co-eternal. The Holy Ghost is God also part of this Trinity. He accepted and conceded to that fact, but he said, well, they don't have to, you know, it's just, everything was just so clear. And, you know, they couldn't get together and meet because of persecution and stuff like that. Ridiculous ex uh, explanations. And that sealed the deal, basically, nullifying it. But the most embarrassing part, I think, was when David Wood tried to tackle the Arabic language against a monster like this guy, uh, Muhammad Hijab. No, you don't do that. And he doesn't even speak Arabic. He tried to say Salah means to pray, so God is praying. Another ridiculous attempt to try to show that maybe there might be more than one God in Islam. But then Muhammad Hijab showed, no, you're misunderstanding. You don't know the basic uh, you know, grammar, lahu, while, while salah, ala, wa salah, lahu. I think that's what he mentioned. And he destroyed him with that. Wood doesn't know Arabic, so he couldn't come back with anything. And I was just like, oh my God, you just made a complete fool out of yourself here. But this was a debate ending move for David Wood. His career is basically over, and here's the reason why. It's not so much that the arguments were so good, and he really didn't have any good arguments. That's really it's not what ended the career here. What ended the career for David Wood was Muhammad Hijab exposed him as a hate preacher, a hate monger who spreads malice and keeps and basically divides people. That is something which mainstream, whether it's mainstream church, Christian organizations, or media, they're going to back away from this guy because of this controversy which now surrounds Wood. He's Basically, Muhammad Hijab said, this guy is not a real scholar. He's a hate preacher. And that actually is true. So now that is out there, and Wood couldn't defend that. He knows what he is. But the fact that he exposed him like that is pretty much has ended David Wood's career. Not in the sense like he doesn't have a job tomorrow, but that he's never really going to amount or go anywhere in his career as far as upward mobility. He's pretty much 
you're pretty much done at this point. So I want to thank you so much for listening to this. Um, please, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. We got a lot of uh, refutations and stuff like that, which are coming. Thanks a lot.